Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Fenton Forest Farm with me, Siwadiso, here on another lovely day here on Fenton Forest, where it is. A little bit later in the morning than I usually tend to start these videos, but I've done a lot of work recently. I deserve a bit of a lie-in on the occasion days. What I need to do today is do some animal stuff and things, I think. The sheep especially apparently don't have any hay, so I need to get on with that. Uh, they should be full of water. I did do those recently. I did get rid of the um, little water trailer. Decided to sell it because we don't tend to use it, so I quickly ran around with the JCB, filled all the greenhouses up, and then I got rid of it, sold off the universal uh, tanker thing. Midget, Bob, Harry, Steve, Michael. Ringo. Right, and I'll have a look and see what needs to be done in a bit. We did the big soybean harvest yesterday on field four and six. Um, oddly, or quite weird, I had some issues on that field afterwards trying to plough it. Course play just did not want to plough the entire field. It would only plough a small portion. Um, of the field and I kept trying to um, rescan the field edges um, the field edge path thing and tried to get it to do what I wanted it to do and wasn't having any joy whatsoever so I ended up sort of ploughing it manually and um, Well, <laughs> didn't quite go according to plan, um, so I've had to fiddle about a bit on that field. And yet, having saved and reloaded the game, and I've come back in just now, of course play has um, scanned the field correctly this time, so I've been able to actually get it to go around and do the, uh, the field edge for me, which was quite nice. So field... Six stroke four, the combined merged super duper awesome uber field um, is got slightly nicer, more rounded edges on it now. As has field nine, because obviously I've ploughed that using the same thing. All is well. <clears throat> and good and happy um, I need to get some straw now do the pigs, the horses and the sheep uh, not the pig, the cows and then we're going to go and have a look I don't think there's anything particularly that we need to do around the farm How's all our fields looking? Anything ready to harvest? Not quite. Field 15's getting close. Probably going to have to do some reseeding and planting. Probably need to lime spread fields 14 and uh, 6 and 4. I suppose we could do that. Make sure they're all lime spreaded. Uh, field 14, after doing the potatoes, I have um, reworked the edges on that a bit too. Just to make sure we got... Um, some rounded corners. I've made it a bit smaller as well, so it's not quite as close to the trees on all sides, which works for me. I've got enough fields that I don't need to worry about losing a little bit of space here and there. Do I? <laughs> a little bit of field. I've got plenty of fields. Damn you pigs, you every time use all the straw, I was supposed to do the, sh the horses and the cows as well with that trailer load, uh, I haven't done any squishing yet Whoa. of the pig food. <clears throat>
think I've got all wheel steering. I think I've got all wheel steering on. There we go. I've turned off the um, crab steer settings mod. And I forgot. I don't know why. I think it was trying to troubleshoot why my maintenance mod isn't working properly. Why it's not refueling um, my vehicles and repairing them and everything. Uh, let's have a look. I don't know if I've got anything that's getting close to needing to be repaired. Under the limit, the new Holland T9 is at 35%. I've not done anything with that yet. That's why that hasn't quite triggered a repair. We'll see. The horses were given the straw. We'll do the cows. Why that much looking at the landscape? Got the um, slurry took up to the BGA yesterday. The man truck did that. So quite happy. In that regards, uh, our truck is still parked over here. I think the field's just ticked over and wants harvesting. Field 15. You know what? I'm going to leave that there. Um, what is on field 15? Oats. Right. I was going to show you this in a little while, but we might as well use it now. I've bought some new machinery. I've got a new truck and tipper trailer. Got a new cotton harvester, which looks kind of a lot like... Um, uh, an ideal combine harvester, but it basically does cotton loose. And then obviously for the main farm, what we needed was John Deere. But seeing as this guy is over here, we may as well use him now. So, um, what I'll do is I'll just put the cut the head this header out of the way. I'll then back up and get my crop header, grain header. Which is a John Deere header lot with a trailer. I found a mod, a mod pack that does John Deere trailers with headers. So we've got an actual John Deere header. 45 foot header trailer with built in trailer. That. Um, and unfold him. Then go down here a bit. That's a little bit straighter. And we'll do his first ever course play. We'll turn off that activated hood thing. We'll crank the uh, field speed up a bit. Turn on field is going to be deactivated whenever possible. Combine, you will stop drawing on loading. Activated, you're going to do a curve on headlands. Oh, that looks pretty good. Course generation field 15. We'll set that to 12. We'll do headland around, we'll do four passes clockwise. Uh, we'll do smooth, and again we'll do get him to do spirals on the up and down bits. Back him up. Right. 
drop him in. Dark horse, first waypoint. Off you go, mate. Have fun. Please the left me uh, truck down here. So yeah, we got uh, iconic. I'm going to take this down to the main farm first of all. Because obviously, uh, what we need, uh, well, that field, field five will need to be harvested long before field um, 16. I think it's field 16. So drive this down here. Are we ready then? him about halfway down. Just so we can do the um the course play business on him when he's got time to harvest the field. Right, we've got the um truck which doesn't need a course loading. This is a big ass tipper. This will take the loose cotton from the harvester and allow me to transport it to sell points and sell loose cotton. If, um, now I don't know if this map supports loose cotton at sale points, being tipped at sale points. I would imagine probably not, which means I may have to put in my own sell point somewhere on the map to do cotton let's have a look cotton the only place is, is the spinnery which it will be bales right so I need I need a sell point that will support cotton, which I think is the cell point 150. I think I've still got it installed. It's right down the end here, I think, of my mod list. <laughs> I've got tons, lots of mods. Uh, I'm not seeing cotton on there. Does it not take cotton? It takes wool. I will have to have a look at that. A bit near it uh, after I finish recording today. I really ought to get in the habit of closing a lot of these course play windows. I tend to leave them open. And course plays, since it's been updated, since they've done the hood thing, it saves the state of the windows. And I'm not a big fan of that. Oh, there's another one. Right. Let's think. We need a lime spreader, don't we? So. Take this one. John Deere needs to be unloaded. Good. Get to him in a minute. What I need to do 
Vikings drive onto this field. Which, as I say, has been ploughed. Fertilising. So you can see how much of the field I've reclaimed. More passes up and down. Ignore that 12, it's got the wrong working width. I'm pretty sure this is, um, as I've said before, Pretty sure this thing is right, of course. It might even be twenty four meters wide, this thing. Pretty sure it probably is 24 meters wide but anyway it'll drive around fertilize and lime spread this field for me uh, right he needs to be unloaded right man here and obviously, we've got a cell point right there. <laughs> so all this oak can go straight in there once this trailer is full. And we don't have to worry about any of it. Which is great stuff. Right, I am actually going to take this out of here. Uh, no, I've got to open the door first. There we are. Tell you what, these things use a lot of uh, diesel, I've noticed. Right, so what do we need? What is it we really need? Right, we do need to seed build nine here. Uh, with something uh, we could do with fertilising it really first so that's what I'll do I'll take the digester what we bought it for this machine should be capable of pouring it Be interesting to see if mate you can lime spread that whole field with 35,000 meters of lime. Alright, so field 11's been manure spreaded. It needs to be cultivated. We'll just drive across the lawn. It's not a problem. I want to find a straight edge on this field could be a bit difficult. It's probably going to be either the top edge or a side one. things I have to do this is field 9 
do everything deactivated, activated, when possible. We'll do it, get him to do headlands and working. That's probably the best way. Again, this edge isn't particularly the straightest of edges, is it? Anyway, field nine. Headland will do four. Up and down, working weight 36. Bring that down a little bit. course at first waypoint go and he should get on the old digestate path which means he'll do the rest of the field that needs to be fertilized you can see how much I've reclaimed from the edges because he won't fertilize that bit of ground that's already been done right uh, what we need now is the T8 with the Pronto or do we Let's stop and think a second. Uh, T7 is 313 horsepower. What is the horse Pronto's requirement? It's in here somewhere. T7. You know what? I can use the T7 for that then. Not use this fella for a while. Save the T8 and its power for another job. Well, I'm not going to plant sunflowers on field 11, that is a fact. We'll do wheat, won't we? We'll do some wheat. Do some wheat is. Four. We'll do spiral. Oops. Right, start course at first waypoint. 
Oh, of course. So you can get that done, he'll do this steel for me quite well. I need to unload the harvester again. And we'll need to go and sell this crop because we'll have too much. I'm sure that guy's going to miss a bit when he puts that pipe down. As look. For whatever reason, that John Deere harvest always does that. It always leaves strip when it stops to unload I think it because it still keep creeps it creeps forward it slides the giants have never fixed it all right oats in here there's some money Ready to harvest. Mating fertilizing. That's a run out. Twenty percent left, and he's barely done any of the field. He's only done like three lanes. to tech him and um, fill him up. Fill him up again in a minute. That lime station is a long way away, isn't it? working on spirals now so he's done his headlands he's now going to be working on his ups and downs
Let's have a look. Because he's obviously going to get full in a sec. So we need to figure out where he's going to be. Empty in a sec, isn't he? He's driving down there. Stop the driver. Right, I'll take him. And get him refilled. I think it's at the bottom of field 10, isn't it? The line. Yeah, it's over there. We will change that to... Aerist. To get him to restart. That's the only problem when you have these big jumbo fields. <laughs> they take a long, long time and they use a lot of product. A lot of product. Right. Our uh, harvester needs to be unloaded again. Right down the bottom this time. P9565 has reached the trigger endpoint. We'll be we'll check on that, shall we? This is fourth headland. He's not going to do any more after. He'll be doing spirals next then. Hopefully, with the crop on the same side. With the pipe on the same side, should I say. So I can unload him a bit better. I forgot to check when I did the other courses how many headlands I'd done, whether it was meant to be. I needed to do like. I think you have to do an even number. I'm almost convinced. So the T9 is finished. That's still filling. Look at the map. Mm. You've missed some bits, mate. Sorry. Sacked. Fired. Including this bit that we're on now. downside to this tool is that every time I want to fill it <laughs> I've got to drive all the way back to the main fall is a bit of a shame having to drive all the way back to the main farm to get to that digestate silo I don't have digestate stashed anywhere else so what we need to do after doing this so matey's now finished over there
Go grab the lime spreader, set him back to work on field four. Grass field, a lovely new grass field, look. I haven't mowed it since we've re done it and rejiggered all the edges. So that's something I'd have to have a look at. See what kind of yield we get off of it. How many bales? Factors are a little bit on the slow side. The new Holland T9. Especially this one that's sort of half track, half wheels. But they are gas guzzlers as well. I've had to refuel the um, the blue version. And it cost me over a grand. Cost, cost me over 1,000 euros to fill that thing from pretty much empty. I, I got the message pop up on screen telling me that it needed to be refueled to. I've never had that happen before. I've never had a vehicle get that low. All right, so field nine's done. We'll do field 14 after we've lime spreaded it and we'll do field 6 after we have um, lime spready doodard it. Now field four, 13 could be replanted with something. At this point, um, I'm not sure what to put on it. This will have a lot of fun doing... I don't think this will do field 6 in one tank. I'm pretty sure nothing will do field 6 now with one tank of product. The only things that will likely do the f field without needing to be refilled are me cedars. Fertilisers, lime spreaders, manure spreaders, etc, etc, etc. But all one... Um, reducing... Johnny dear, he's over there. Okay. We'll move away. We'll go back to the field. We'll carry on. From where we left off. Missing corners, law. Missing corners. Drive down here. That's across here. <laughs> Of course. 
I'll see you again in a bit, mate. Carry on. Doing a terrible job at the headlands, isn't he? Hope he goes back and fills them in. There was a perfect opportunity there for you to do it, pal. of straw not got his pipe out of the crop that's going to be a pain recognised he's full be unloaded last time he did that on field four and six he got in a bit of a pickle afterwards he couldn't find his way back to the lane he was supposed to be on Looks like he's uh, going to manage it this time. Just keep sticking the oats in here, I do. <laughs> sell as we go, sell as we go. Might not be the most profitable place, but it's convenient that it, in that it's close. nearly finished he's not got much more to do on this particular field uh, fields two what have I got on field three? Got wheat on field three, got barley on field one. The sugar cane is nearly ready 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 to harvest again. And then what I'll do is like things like sugar cane I'll shift onto one of these other fields. Probably fourteen, I think. Thirteen I can put potatoes or sugar beets or whatever back onto it. Nice squarish field. the other crop type on the other field then all these fields will my main base fields will become normal grain crop fields that's 
bring this. This doesn't need to be parked up here. We'll take this and put it somewhere. Well, it's probably going to get used again in a little while. And we just let it live down here, don't we? Next, what we're going to need. T8, I think I said, didn't I? Uh, where is the T8? There it is. He can grab the um, the Condor. Oh, me. I think it's parked in the shed up by field 14. Near the uh, manure store place thing. Your 13's been manure spreaded. Ready to be seen it. And we'll do I'll do sugar beet on it. Why not? Fertilizing and seeding. So twelve. Off you go. So he's gonna plant sugar beets for me. He has finished. Quick, quick blast round just to make sure he has finished. Looks like he has. Not seen any missed bits.
63% left. I think what I'll do is let him have a go. Deal 14 ever here. Of course. Didn't want to put the uh, fertilizer on back, eh? He turned it off. Right, we need to unload the harvester again. Where's he parked? All the way over yonder. I ought to come round and collect up some of this straw. I keep saying that and then I end up never doing it. One of the things I have been doing is just ploughing the straw in and it's like, that's not the point of having straw. I'm supposed to pick it up, man. And he's bringing the uh, loading wagon down here at some point. out the road let him do what he needs to do I'm going to take this with the loading wagon to get that straw. And feel 15. Means I've got to copy the course from the harvester, of course. Yeah, that's some blue exhaust fumes, isn't it? Burning through its blue death. Not often use the big John Deere scraper special, is it? So, although using this to pick up straw is a bit overkill, and it's probably going to cost me a lot in diesel. squeeze on that cement mixer
Prisoners and Big Kane and John Deere. Don't know why I just had the Thrillbilly song come in my head then for a second. <laughs> Right, so put him into field work mode and copy course from. should do this quite happily. Move up all the uh, straw. Even the big dumps he'll hoover up. This thing will just run round quite happily. Right, so he's finished. Well, he nearly got all the field, didn't he? Nearly got all of it. Has he missed a bit over here? Yeah. He's missed quite a bit over here, actually. I think he's all right down here. Yep. Yeah. Job's a good one. You can head your way back to field. Um, to the main place. What we could do with is some line. Ain't work tool needs to be refilled. That is cedar. I'm lime in this bad boy. And why don't use that more often? It fills up a lot, lot quicker actual lime station where's the T8 run out of sugar beets really Hold him up, because I'm going to have to go get the, um... I'm going to have to go get the seed runner. 
I didn't think of that. It didn't occur to me that I would end up needing a seed runner. But then again, of course you're going to need a seed runner to do sugar beets and potatoes and stuff, aren't you? Oh uh, well, I guess this is a, a good a place as any then to leave today's episode as I head over to the uh, cedar to refinish it, um, replenish it. Um, so thank you for watching the video. Be sure to join me again next time here on the Fenton Forest Farm. I've been C. Waddy Eason, and I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye for now.